What is going on everybody? We are in the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how I prepare and cook Jack Corral. I know everybody considers this fish a trash fish, um, but I'm just going to show you guys my take on how I prepare and cook this fish. Um, and that might change your mind. Usually keep them if they're too big. Um, normally around a three pound range is, is, is a good more or less, um, which is the kind of fish that we caught. Um, if you haven't seen that last video, I'll put a clip on here. Oh my God! So it was a great day off of fishing. Um, they were just hammering topwater baits and you know I decided to keep a couple of them. I'm going to be preparing half of a one um, just to kind of show you guys. So stay tuned, come with me guys and I'll show you how to do that. Alright guys so for this recipe you are going to need a zipper um, style Ziploc bag, your fish, of course, some sasson. You're going to need some garlic powder, some salt. Some paprika, black pepper, a little bit of lemon juice, and Italian dressing. Doesn't matter what brand, uh, it's all pretty much the same. You'll also need a bowl of some kind. As I fill it enough. Should be enough. So about a cup of Italian dressing. I would say a teaspoon of lemon juice. Or a half a teaspoon of salt. We are going to throw in there generous amount of garlic powder so a teaspoon of garlic powder I would say About a half a teaspoon of paprika. Um, just basically a pinch. And then I would say about a quarter packet of sasol. And we're going to mix that up. Once that's ready, 
go ahead and grab our fish. Open that. And we want to make sure the fish is in there flat. And once the fish is in there, take this. Pour it over the top of the fish. Once you've done that, you kind of swish it around in there. And what I like to do, I like to squeeze that back like that. All right, guys, so the fish is ready. All we gotta do now is wait for it to rest with the marinade for 24 hours. Once that is done, all we're gonna have to do is dunk it in some flour and then throw it on the pan with a little bit of oil and then it'll be ready. So once this is ready, we'll be back. We'll show you guys how to do that and do the rest of the cooking portion. All right, guys, so the fish has been marinating for 24 hours. Um, like I said, I usually like to marinate it for at least 24 hours with this specific marinade and fish. Um, I've tried other fish with something similar to it. Um, this fish normally has a stronger taste, so I like to marinate it for a little longer. And then what we're gonna do, uh, like I said, we're gonna use some flour to dunk it in. Um, and then fry it. Um, I'm using all-purpose gluten-free flour. That's what we have here. That's what we use. Um, any flour will work. Um, if you want to use like a breading, that's totally fine as well. Um, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't use any like seasoned breading uh, just because uh, it's gonna have enough flavor with the marinade that it doesn't need it. Uh, so I'm just using just regular oil flour. Alrighty guys, so as far as oil, um, you don't need much, um, just enough to have it coat the fish at least halfway. This is a big pan, um, so I'll normally use just that, that amount will work doesn't have to be anything crazy. All right, guys. So what we're going to do, uh, like I said, we're going to go ahead and throw some gluten free flour. And kind of sp spread it out that way you can just place the pieces on it. Like I said, you guys want to just spread the flour out. I'm sure many of you have done this before. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab the fish. This is two pieces. Go ahead and throw some of that breading on it. want to get it as coated as possible. Go ahead and put it to the side. And if you guys are double dippers, you can do that. Uh, I don't normally do it with this kind of stuff, but you can. 
uh, you can go ahead and dunk it back in the juices from the marinade and then go ahead and dunk it back on on this stuff here Like I said, guys, a lot of people find this to be a trash fish. Um, I mean, I, I, it can be a nuisance. Um, but if you know, if you prepare it a certain way, you can get some good flavor out of it. And I think I'm gonna need a little bit more, but we'll see. It's just two more pieces in here. Small piece. Considerable amount of flour on there. Make sure we coat it good. And that's pretty much it, guys. And this is what it looks like. Real good, nice and coated. The oil should be getting up to temperature. Let's go ahead. I have this cover, you can get these. I think we got these at the dollar store and it's just to make sure the oil doesn't splash out. It's very useful. Now, what I like to do when I'm putting this stuff in here is, needs a little bit more is put the biggest pieces in first because that way you can kind of just put the biggest pieces in first, the smaller pieces in last. And then once you're gonna flip everything, you can flip everything pretty much at the same time and then cook at the same time. And then the bigger pieces take a little bit longer to cook. So by staggering them like that, everything gets done pretty much at the same time. All right, so let's wait for this oil to get to temperature and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so oil temp is ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and grab these. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bigger pieces in first. That way you can kind of cook everything at the same time. This piece in and this other piece in. You want it to be nice and golden. So you guys, right there, look at that color, perfect. Definitely enjoy it. All right, we're gonna let that sit there for a couple more minutes, and then we'll go ahead and take them out and put them on the plate with the paper towel, that way it drains all the oil off of it. We have a little piece that. Perfect. It's just about ready. This 
these big pieces are already. These are the ones I'm having. And these are the white piece. He likes to cook. Very well done. So, gotta please, please the missus. He's the boss of the house. Alright guys, and that is it. That's all it takes to get some real nice golden brown fillets of Jack Craval. Many people don't like these. I don't think there's anything wrong with it as long as you can prepare it. You do have to bleed the fish as soon as you catch it uh, before you do anything with it just to flush out all the blood. That way it tastes a lot better that way. Alrighty guys, thank you for sticking around to watch this catch and cook. I know a lot of people think this is a trash fish. I don't think so. I, I, I believe that as long as you bleed the fish properly before you cool it, everything will be fine. There it is. One last look. Pretty yummy tasting. Pretty good looking. Follow that recipe or make up your own. You can use any type of marinade. This is what I use just because it's what I have at home. This is what I kind of came up with. Um, but thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Leave a like, leave a comment if you have any suggestions of what else you want me to guys, you want me to show you guys and what else you want me to cook for you guys. Deuce!